I've got I've got a full WWE Niagara Falls Cup. I'm actually even wearing my WWE Niagara Falls shirt. I I, I never knew you had a shirt, man. Oh, yeah. What's it look like? Uh, it's gray, and it says it has the scratch logo. Says Niagara, and then it ha- and then it says Falls. But in between Niagara and Falls, it has the little maple leaf. It's a scratch logo maple leaf. Oh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That's the same thing as on the cup. Do you know what show this is? I do not know what particular show this is. Well, I went to WrestleCrabRadio.com, which, by the way, if you've never been there, it's great because there's, there's like a profile pages of all the characters and um, there's in-depth discussion of each episode. This is episode 196. 196! Means means after this one's done, we've only got three more to go until the epic 200 yep, episode. Bicentennial. It'd be great if we could get all the cast together and put it up, put on, like, wigs. Because you remember when they did the Bicentennial? Man, geez, let me spit this out. Bicentennial in the 70s. Remember everybody, everybody wore wigs? I, I, what am I just imagining that? I do not remember <laughs> everyone wearing wigs. My only memory of the Bicentennial is when we went to go see, I don't know, some kind of movie. They gave us a giant popcorn bucket with a bunch of, like, like Washington and... The other guys, like, on a ship. Oh, awesome. <laughs> See what you've been missing, folks, when we have not had radio I am not. I'm not all with it today. Dave hey. Meltzer not, not uh, discussing uh, George Washington crossing the Delaware on a popcorn bucket. Wait a minute. Hey, yeah. Time out. Time out. Do you remember when Ron Keel, the heavy metal star Ron Keel, he became a country singer star one time? And he made the the greatest line in musical history. He's like, he's like, my horse is my Harley, my gun's a guitar. Keel Williams has chatted me, and he says, "Rd, I already got a like and a comment, and it's from a girl." Have I won the question of the week? <laughs> I like, I, there you go. There you go. And and you were saying there's there's a new place for people to uh, have their something to say. Well, it's like an it's like a new old place in a way. Oh no no it, no it is not like the old place. <laughs> we have started the Russell Crap Forum again. N- new look, new new uh, new sections. New name. New name. It is called the Crap Hole. New mods? Yep. The great, great, great Sean Carlos has set this up for us. Lord Alfred, if you please. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Globalinternet.net. Let's say you wanted to start a website. How about GeorgeWashingtonPopcornBuckets.com? <laughs> I know just the guy who can get it for you. It's our good friend Greg. Greg over at globalinternet.net. Hey. We're not going into Filth Canyon this week. I promise you that. Filth Canyon? At Mama's age, that kind of sounds like a term for her hoo-ha. Uh, I have defied. I have defied Global Internet's orders to have a clean show this week. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hey, you little dude, say so your prayers need your vitamins. Yay! Yeah. Hulk Hogan vitamins, the new champion of children's chewables. Yay! Yay! Yippee! <laughs> Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Turn snack time into fun time with Mr. Freeze Freezer Bars. It's as fun to squeeze as it is to eat. Double Dragon 3, the greatest martial arts adventure, continues with all new weapons, characters, and street fighting moves. Double Dragon 3 from Acclaim, twice the characters, three times the action. 
wait a minute. Time out. Paul London. Yes. Paul London in a shoot interview we, talking we about how all the how, how, how all the WWE women had bigger clitorises because they were on steroids. Trip to the grocery. I, I talk about going to the grocery. So I was at White Castle this week. Greasy. Like Maurice. Greasy. Like like the like the Miami Dolphins quarterback. Mm-hmm. If you prefer your quarterbacks with glasses. Yes, please entertain the people for a minute. Okay. Other great four-eyed athletes. Um, wasn't it Chuck Muncie, the Chargers, wouldn't he wear glasses? Um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the glasses. I wonder if there's ever been a porn star who wore glasses. So. What were you looking at? I'm, post- I'm, posting the, uh, I'm posting the first thread ever on here. Post- this, is mo- this is monumental. People are going to look back. Bob, greasy story here. People are going to look back on this <laughs> the same day when George Washington sailed on a popcorn bucket. Yes, agreed. In, in, inspiring the bicentennial. Have you seen the smiley faces? By the way, I'm gonna... they're all they're all they're all Batista. <laughs> yeah, that's that's great. I bet people weren't expecting that to be the first ever thread on the new forum. Yeah, uh, well, that's yeah, that's something special. But yeah, you can, you can, uh, going back to, uh, going back to White Castle, yes, you can, you can, you can send in on, your orders online, I guess. Oh. Oh! Firing up the fat stroller. But wait a minute, you never explain. I don't online, know. Online orders for me? Sorry, out of time, out of time. This is a bunch of, I'm gonna swear, Joe, this is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> time. It's time for obscure wrestling news. We've got we've got a musical obscure wrestling news this week. Steven Adler teaming up with Straight Edge Ultimate Warrior. Jim Helwig singing Welcome to the Jungle. Probably sound uh probably sound something like this. Then crown thy good with brotherhood to shine and see. I'll give you a block nug. Hey, here, here, here's Ultimate Warrior singing Welcome to the Jungle. Welcome to the Jungle, Hulk Hogan. We got fun and games, Hulk Hogan. Honey, we know the name, Hulk Hogan. That's the worst Jim Hellwig impression ever. Big nippled vampire news. Oh, good. Along with Raven and cheerleader Melissa. They're going to be appearing in the latest Smashing Pumpkins music video. Oh, wow! Maria. Oh, she's back in the news, huh? She is continuing continuing her Diva Mania party Oh, gig yeah, yeah, I with, remember that. With Tiffany. Maria's going to be dancing on the bar like the chicks in Coyote, Coyote Ugly for Tip. Sure. We don't serve water here! H two O, hell no! There, there. That's my coyote ugly impression. Hey, now real... <laughs> we should just we should just go film like a film one of uh, Maria's parties and bring all the characters there. It was a tragedy in Detroit, Michigan, because there was a comic convention there. Yes. <laughs> you know what i am uh this this keel williams i am gonna go with his question of the week. Uh, i wish we could pull up keel the right to rock on youtube in the, of Maine, we have a 311 in progress. <laughs> the sound effects on on this video almost as good as the ones here on wrestle crap radio Ric Flair recently claimed to have wrestled 100,000 matches in his life, equating right. to at least one match a day for 274 years. Did Ric Flair spend his money on a DeLorean to make this happen? Is that why he's so poor? <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. 
Should I should I wow. tap heel back right now on the air? Tell him he has the right to rock. You have the right to rock. Oh, he said that right when Keel did. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Keel, yeah. right to rock appreciation thread. Yeah, we're getting this thing kicked off right. Oh. That's always yeah. happy music. Uh, I'm happy, you know why? I'm here, baby. I'm here, baby. I'm here to bring you all the latest wrestle crapping news. Right here. Look at I got my whole bag. I got I got D Meltzer's wrestling observers. Plump full here in my mailbag. It's a honky tonk mailman. Thank you very much. February twenty first. That's when Sting gonna show up on the WWE Monday Night Raw. And where did you get this news? I got this. It's piping hot off the presses, baby. It's right here in Dave Belcher's Wrestling Observer. It's dated January 12th, 2011. Right off the presses, <laughs> right here in my mailbag. I... Can't beat it, boy. I tell you, you guys are very lucky to have somebody like the honky-tonk mailman with his fingers on the pulse of TNA Pro Wrestling. Well, if uh got any stamps, any new commemorative stamps? We've got the Dark Journey $5 priority stamp, baby. Now, is that one of those new stamps that you just peel off and it it's, has the adhesive on the back and you just stick it? Or do you actually have to lick this stamp? Oh, baby, no, that stamp licks you. $5 Dark Journey stamp will make you holler, baby. Blade, Blade, I, I forgot to bring you your Beaver Hunt magazine. Your Beaver Hunt magazine. I'll put it out here in your mailbox for you. January 84, brand new, right off the press. I heard about Dark Journey. Yes. He are the rumors true that she's licking people for $5. No, it, no, no, it's not true. Sam. It's a stamp, Jim. It's not, not A that. stamp? Yes. Why you gotta tease well, I haven't had sex in a long time. Why you gotta tease her like that? Go fuck yourself. Jim. Current wrestling news time here, <laughs> kids. Burps. Kelly Kelly has came in on the Maxim Hot 100 list. The first person Kelly Kelly shared the big news with is with her mother. <laughs> she, she was so happy. She, <laughs> she was so happy. She knew it was something I always strived to be on. But it was a list I always wanted to be a part of. It's kind of like, it's, I don't know that you're sounding so much, I don't know if this is Kelly Kelly or Stubby Stubby. So she was on the <laughs> Stacey Keebler is at 72. Yeah, she ranks higher than the current girl in WWE. Uh, Myla Kunis comes in at number five. Mm -hmm. So apparently, you will rank higher if you eat out Natalie Portman than if you are Natalie Portman getting eaten out. <laughs> you know we are close enough to the end of the show. I could have just ended it there. No, because we got to talk about Michael Hayes being a manager now. Please tell me he's going as Doc Hendricks. Doc Hendricks could get you some good quality uh, Shawn Michaels shirts from the shop zone. <laughs> Wow. Is that Satan singing? <laughs> I've, I've never thought of Michael Hayes as a literal bird. <laughs> I see China is back in wrestling. June 21st of 2011, the WrestleCrap invasion begins. Mentioning it two hours into the show, it kind of reminds us of when Lance, Lance Storm launched the WCW invasion. <laughs> China the Mistress. Sorry, I'd rather bang Arnold's fat, ugly one. In the show now. <laughs> 